Giving all praise, honor, glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rekach, Kodash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. <clears throat> and it's a sincere shalom to the Akim that's out there pushing the sincerity and the truth and the sound doctrine. First and foremost, I want to say the water Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, for giving me and the fellow Akim the opportunity to do these lessons, these videos, the opportunity to go out there on the highways and on the hedges, all to edify and warn the nations of Israel, which are the so called Negroes, the Latinos, and the Native Americans, the 12 tribes of Israel, the ones the law, statutes, and commandments, as well as the promises were given to you. The chosen people of the Most High, Shalom, the water. So this is a uh, this is a really really quick video off of the brother, you know, GMS Awakening One Forty Four, uh, and he did this video. This is all we've been talking about as a recently, you know, at least all I've been talking about as a recently, you know, these these situations. There was another another instance where in in New York as well, you know, um, in order to go in a movie to watch a movie. You had to you had to get the you had to get poked, man. You had to get that thing, right? So now here we go. I couldn't play I, I, I couldn't play the clip in the beginning because it was more than likely going to take the video down if I did play the play the clip at the beginning. But he said, you know, uh, Cuomo, the governor of uh, New York, was pretty much saying that we need to go door to door. You know, uh, go into those certain communities, go to door to door, put them put them in the in the back of the cars and ride them up so we and, and convince them to take it to take the thing man you know and this this is what we have been talking about man this is exactly what we have been talking about that you people mocked and laughed and all that man <laughs> hey man but look look at where we at now look at where we at now man how long have we been saying that this stuff was going to come down the pass of course i mean uh through the spirit of power lord y'all about shimmy shot man right new york city and california require the thing or test for it for workers right now like as a brother was saying last year they were saying it's they even the beginning of this year toward the mid the middle of last year when they started pushing these things out or we towards the end of last year when they started pushing these things out they said it was choice you know they said it was all choice but now you see here california and new york city announced the mandated now they're mandating it you know, so it's no longer they're about to say, look, you ain't got a choice. And this is what we've been saying, man. That this man is going to start showing his horns. Like, look, man, you ain't got a choice. You either you, you either down with us or you're not. Right? And that's that's how what Lord Yahweh Bai Shibi Al Shai is, is doing, man. You down with this truth or you're not. And ain't no on offense, man. There ain't no on offense with this thing. Now is now is about now is about that time, man. Now it's about that time. They really about they really start showing their horns, man. And this is again, it's what we've been talking about, man. It's what we've been telling you, so-called blacks, Latinos, the Americans, like, look, get right, man. Time is running short. It ain't no, it ain't no more time, man. Right. So let's get a, a couple of scriptures. Like I said, it's not really much to say on this. You know, it's one of those one of those videos where I really don't have much to say about this. But, you know, let's let the scriptures talk. And there's so many scriptures on this that we could get on this situation. This is the book of Luke, chapter 21, verse 36. Watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. Right, so what is this saying? If you ain't got the Lord, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh on your side, then how you want to stand? Right? How you want to stand? See, you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, man, y'all gonna be left out there in that day, man. And we gotta, and we pray that we're not, that, that we're not left out there, right? Because Proverbs chapter one said, let, you know, while, while, while um, I'm talking about it, let's go ahead and get Proverbs the first chapter, right? Let's go ahead and get Proverbs the first chapter. It's gonna bring me into my next point, you know, which is all tied in, all right? Um, let's see here. This is the book of um, Proverbs chapter 1, verse 26. It says, I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. Right? So what is he saying, man? You niggas wanted to do er uh, wicked. You know, you wanted to do evil before my eyes. Before my eyes. So now, <laughs> I'm going to laugh at your calamity right all you people out there get off the corner with that bs y'all y'all false prophets y'all this y'all that y'all this y'all that man 
And this mainly goes towards you other Israelite camps, man. Mainly goes towards you other Israelite camps that claim that you're men of the Lord, man, and you're really not. You do absolutely nothing according to the Bible, man. Now you got these groups out here saying that the whole Bible isn't the word of God. The Bible isn't the word of God, but the word of God was found in the Bible. This hell that's getting ready to come down upon you, man, it's going, it's going to happen to you, man. It's really going to get, get, get other Israelite camps hard, man. Sitting up there trying to call on the name of the Lord, Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahushai, not doing a damn thing according to the Lord, man. Right? And the Lord said he going to laugh and mock at your calamity. And I don't care how you niggas take it, man. We don't care. We don't care how you take it, man. It is what it is. Sitting up there saying we hate you, we, we hate our brothers or whatever. When we sitting up here warning you about stuff like this, it's get ready to come to come to pass. So get right, hurry up and get right, man. Before this stuff comes uh, goes uh, comes to pass, man. Before you get left out there. But nah, man, you hate your brother. All right, that's fine. So we we'll just hate our brothers then. Fuck it. Verse twenty-seven. When your fear cometh as desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish cometh upon you, then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer, right? They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me, right? So all you people, man, all you proud ass people, man, you know, our counterparts too as well, you know, all you proud ass people, Get ready to lose your jobs, man. That's all we gotta say. Get ready to lose your get ready to lose your jobs if you don't want to take the take the thing, man. Get ready to lose your jobs, man. Cause the Lord's get ready to wipe that pride right off y'all goddamn faces, man. Right out y'all spirit. The Lord's get ready to wipe that pride straight away. Clean away like that shit was never even there. That's what's get ready to happen, man. You said diddy ass people, man. Get ready to lose everything. Get ready to lose everything, man. Hey, look, like I said, man, we we are we have been spiritually and uh, mentally preparing ourselves, you know, for this situation, man. And this is why we handle it so much better. Now, like I said, now that we, we of course, you know, you want to go to get into these situations like, damn, man, like what am, what am I going to do, man? Like, but the Lord always going to show you an answer. If you if you down with the Lord and the Lord down with you, man, he won't he won't show you the answer. You know, he gonna he gonna show you the answer if he if he see that you fit to be his servant, then he gonna show you the answer, man. Right. But the rest of these people, what the scriptures say, they gonna call upon me, right? So it's just like that situation. I, I'm sure your brothers, you know, and, and your sisters remember the situation where the guy got pulled over, and he got he was getting yanked out the car by the police. And he was saying he was he was screaming Yahweh by Shimmy I was shy, you know he just kept screaming it. But it's like man, if you if you was really spiritual, now I get it. Certain situations happen, but if you really are in in the spirit, and you're in a correct spirit, you know, then you wouldn't have to be in that situation of being yanked out yanked out of cars. This is why you never see none of us being yanked out of cars and being thrown on the ground and putting got knees on our necks and shit like that. That's why you never see it. Right? Because we know how to behave, man. Because the Lord, Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahushua told us what? Matthew chapter 10, verse 16. Or was it chapter 10, verse 6? I believe it was 10 to 16. Be wise as serpents or harmless as doves, right? So agree with thine adversary quickly. That's another scripture. Right? So going back to my main point, you know, on, on, on what I just now said, you know, you want to call upon me, but the Lord ain't the Lord ain't answering you, man. And you know, the Lord, <laughs> the Lord ain't answering you. Because you didn't want to seek the Lord while you did, while it was, you know, like today, you know, decent day, ain't nothing really going on, kind of slow, you know, but really it's always something going on. But I'm saying like, in particularly here, you know, nothing going on, you know, don't, don't look like nothing going on, but you don't, you don't understand things happen all the time and things just pop out of nowhere. So, you know, the thing is, this is why you always have to pray, man, because if you don't pray to the Lord, you're going to be left out there, man. You ain't want to know what to do. You want to subject yourself and go ahead and take the thing, man. That's what's going to happen. If you don't subject yourself until Lord, Yahweh, Shim, Yahweh, Shai, man. Right? 
It says, um, for they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord. Yahweh about Shem Yahweh Shai. Right? Y'all hate knowledge, man. Our people hates the hell out of knowledge, man. They hate correction. They don't like correction. If they absolutely despise you if you if you correct them, man. They ready to pull the trigger on you if you correct them, man. They hate it. And I'm talking about even in these in these Israelite camps. Hell, we had that situation in our camp. Bro, guys hating correction, man, and getting getting all bent out of shape and, and, and fussing back, man. We we had that in our camp, man. And I'm just speaking from, from experience, man. We had that in our camp. You hate correction, man. You hate knowledge. So what did Matthew uh, Hosea chapter four verse uh, Hosea chapter four verse six say, right? Uh, 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 my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge because they reject the knowledge. I will also reject thee. So I said I'm going to reject you because you rejected me. That means you won't be left out there, man. I keep saying that y'all gonna be left out there. Look, it's gonna be a lot of sad faces out this motherfucker, man. And excuse the language, but it got get you know get like that sometimes. Right? It's gonna be a lot of sad faces out here, man. Alright. Um I'm gonna jump down to verse 33. But whosoever hearkeneth unto me shall dwell safely and shall be quiet from fear of evil. Self-explanatory, I ain't gonna break that down. You know, pretty, pretty, pretty uh simple scripture, right? Let me um go on to Matthew chapter 24, verse 9. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you and ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake now let's start with the you know I, I like breaking these i like breaking these verses up sometimes let's start with the then shall they deliver you up and be afflicted now that they yeah we know it's talking about uh you know the, this man the, uh, the rulers of darkness we know that's who it's talking about but that's also talking about our people as well man because if you read further up it's going to say they're going to betray you. Oh, here go right here. They're going to betray you. Many shall be offended. It shall betray you, and all that stuff, man. You want to be hated from your by your family? Hell, we already, we, you know, we already got a taste of that. You come into this thing, man, and that's why it burns me the hell up when, when, when you got guys come into this thing and they don't take this thing seriously. Cause it's like, man, do you realize? See, th this is the thing. You know what a lot of Jake don't realize when they come into this thing. They don't realize that you're that you're risking your freedom, you're risking your job, you're risking your house, you're risking your life. When you go out there, people can just gun us down. You know how many people hate us, man? And how many people just want to kill the hell out of us, man? You know, you literally risking everything every time you do these videos, every time you stand out there, you throwing a garment, go out there and do your thing, man. But if you sit up there doing this thing for fame, man, you won't be one of the one of them niggas that's left out there, man. You know? You won't be one of them that's going to be left out there. If you're not doing this thing out of sincerity for the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, but you want to do this thing for some fame, money, and women. And this is exactly what you, what you jakes get, man. And you won't be part of, the, part of the ones that we laugh at, man, if you are one of them. And again, I pray to the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, that I'm not one of them. That's why I talk about myself in these videos as well, half the time. You know? Because I, I tell myself, look, man. You don't get your dumb ass right. <laughs> you you know, you don't get right, man. You know you're gonna be you gonna be one of the ones that's gonna be getting laughed at in that day. <laughs> you know. So now, then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted? Cause you know we you know the biggest who are the biggest sellouts upon G? Other G, other Israelites, right? Israelite camps, your family, your friends, or just random random neighbors you might know, or whoever, man. Yeah, yeah, they, they didn't get it. Yeah, they didn't get it. They didn't get it. Ultimately, this is leading to the chip. But they didn't get it. They didn't get it. They didn't get it. You know? They're going to be delivering you up to be afflicted, man. Look who was the ones who, look who was the heads, who set up as the heads of leading this, this, this thing that's going about, man. Jay. You know? Setting up rappers and movie entertainers and all you know all all these all these people just setting them up, you know, to tell you to go here to take it. Just roll your sleeve up and go here to take it, right? That's what they're telling you, right? But they will be the ones to, to deliver you up to be afflicted, right? And shall kill you. Now, 
like I said, the elder um, here in Baltimore, he he brought this um, he brought this to our attention when they talk about kill. That's why I, that's primarily why I wanted to um, bring this up. Now, is this talking about actual physically physical killing? Well, let's see. Uh, let's look at the definition to kill in any way, whatever, to destroy, to allow to perish. Now that sounds like, you know, that sounds like physically, physically killing, right? To destroy, to allow to perish, right? To extinguish, abolish, okay. To inflict mortal death, right? So that that's definitely talking about mortal death, you know, killing. Uh, uh, to the pro now this is what this is now this is a twofold scripture this is what makes this a twofold scripture here all right um it says to deprive of spiritual life and uh, procure eternal misery in hell now i'm not going into that word hell right now i don't feel like doing all that right now <laughs> that is it's not the it's not the point of this video so i'm not doing that right now you know um but we already know what, what hell is you know we know what that is but, and, you know, very simply, this is hell, right? But as far as going into the where the background of hell, we know what that is. I'm not going into that right now. But this is where, where my point comes in with this, you know? And this is, where, where this is why it ties in so much with the clip that the brother did, I mean, the video the brother did and what the article that he did the video on. You know, where it's, uh, he said the, the, the jobs and you, you want to be terminated from your job and stuff like that. That's part of killing you. That's, that's part of killing you spiritually. They, they cast you out the system. They, ca they just cast you out completely. So it means you're going to have nothing. Some of us may lose our homes. You know, we, have, we really have to prepare for that stuff, man. You know, it says to deprive of spiritual life. So they're really just trying to drain the enemy, the energy out of you. So you so they can break you. And, and and have you um, uh, bow down to their system, man. Have you comply to their system. That's what they're going to try to do. And our people are going to help them do that, man. Right? Who are the nurses? Our counterparts, man. Right? It's so many. It's so many of our counterparts in in that in that in that nursing field, man. Ready to roll your sleeve up and and, po and poke you with that shit, man. Right? It says. Procure uh, uh, eternal misery in hell. So that's what this, they try to make you miserable and, and even more miserable in hell, you know? So they take away your benefits. They take away certain benefits you had. Like, you know, you might have disability benefits or whatever. They might, they're going to take that away, you know? You might have me a medical a medical um, issue. They're not, they, they're going to take away the medicine, you know? You're not going to be able to get, to get your medicine. Food. You're not gonna be able to get food. You're not gonna be able to go to the grocery store. You're not gonna be able to do none of that stuff. That's part of, you know, depriving you of spiritual life. Now, this is also talking about killing, because then they're gonna start the beheadings, eventually when they still really start pushing this chip out, the MOTB as we call it. And again, if you don't know what the MOTB is, you know, uh, at this point, I don't know what to tell you. You know, and you might, you could be new, you know, and you really don't know. Just keep looking at the videos and you'll see what we're talking about, man. Read Revelation 13 and you'll you'll know what the MOTB is, the mark of the you know what. So we end up, we're approaching in the famine of the word, so we can't really say certain things anymore. Right? And it's about to, it's coming, it's coming, like the brother was saying, it's coming, it's about to come to a time where our videos are gonna be completely take our channel is gonna be completely taken down. Right? So that's why the Lord says, seek the seek him early, seek him while he may be found, man. Seek the Lord in the days of your youth, because if you don't, well, let, let's let's get another scripture. Let's get one last scripture. Uh, yeah, the good one here. All right, this is the book of First Chronicles. Oh, I'm a, I might have to go to Second. Let me go to Second Chronicles. Yep, here we go. Second Chronicles, chapter fifteen, verse thirteen. Now this is what this was going to happen. And I'm going to get actually, I'm going to get one other scripture after this. That who uh, that whosoever would not seek the Lord Yahweh by Shemiah the power of Israel should be put to death, whether small or great, whether man or woman. Now I don't have to break that down, so I'm just going to keep moving on. You know, because if you don't know what that's talking about, then maybe you need to um, maybe you need to read the Bible more if you don't know what that's talking about. <laughs> I mean, it tells you what it's talking about. Um, 
Now this is what's going to happen if you work. See, you don't. The thing is, man, you don't have to take the take this thing, or you don't have to take the chip in order in order to worship the image of the beast, man. You don't have you don't have to you don't have to do that. You can you can not do that and still worship this system, man. By still wanting to go on the ways of this system. So there's, there's going to be a number of people, primarily Edomite, a lot of Edomites ain't, ain't for the ain't for the MOTB, man. They they're the ones that are really speaking against it, right? But that doesn't mean they're not going to be destroyed, because they are going to be destroyed still. You want to have some Jakes that ain't going to take it, but they still want to live the ways of this society. They still want to keep the keep the ways of the society going. That doesn't mean you're not going to be destroyed. That means you are going to be destroyed, but you got to be brought back right. The book of Revelation chapter 14 verse 9 it says and the third angel followed them saying with a loud voice if any man worship the worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his right hand so like or in his hand the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the most high which is poured without mixture into the cup of his indignation and he shall be the he shall be <laughs> tormented with fire and brimstone and the presence of the holy angels and it and in the presence of the lamb i don't have to i don't have to really explain that you know and the smoke of their torment ascendeth up forever and ever and they have no rest nor day uh day nor night who worship the beast and his image and whosoever receives receiveth the mark of his name that's why, see, that's why I separated, and that's why I said that before I even read this scripture. You don't have to receive, you don't have to receive the mark. You don't have to receive the MOTB. Because, um, as far as physically, because you can spiritually do it by applying, by complying to this system. So if you're still all down for this system, yeah, I mean, they, they're going to force you to do it. You ain't going to be able to do nothing yet, but you can still worship this system because you still, you still want to think that, they, they, that they, this this man and this save in this system is your savior, right? But that's why I separated it, man. You know. So anyway, man. You know, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. Giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Shimi. I was shot by Shimakakadash. Shalom.